Hi, it's Andy again, and in this tutorial I'm going to be highlighting a library called Holograph uh, Library, and it provides a bunch of tools to make uh, simple graphs like the one you see here in the picture. Um, what it is, is it, it's a simple library that comes with um, a line, line graph, a bar graph, and a, a pie chart type uh, graph. So I've made a little app to highlight the pie chart one because that's actually my favorite type of graph to do. Um, so basically in this sample I have three edit text values that when you when you edit them each one corresponds to a different portion of the app of the graph. So you have the red portion, the green portion, and the cyan or blue portion. And uh, let's say I have one here, one here, and one here. That's going to be divided up into thirds, and each one of these is going to be equal size with one third of the of the of the pie chart. You know, pretty basic, straightforward. And the code to implement this is actually pretty simple. But instead of you putting in numbers uh, as the sample application uh, has, where they just put like two for one, three for another, whatever. Uh, this one, uh, I'll have you, you can change the values as you want, as you probably would use this in a, a, a real situation. So to go into the code, um, I just made two fragments, a main activity, and uh, you have, uh, so let's, uh, yeah, so it's this one. You have um, main activity which is just, your, it inflates the main view and then replaces the placeholder fragment with, uh, uh, with your first fragment. So fragment one is uh, three edit texts and a button. And the way that it looks is if we go into our resources, go into fragment one, or frag one, you have your three buttons and then our three edit texts and then here's your button on the bottom. So that's what we see here as what you saw in the emulator. And then, so the user will input their numbers. And in this case, I'd put integers, but you can put floats as well if you want. Um, there's no reason why you couldn't do that. Uh, I, I like round numbers. And to make sure that I didn't throw an error, uh, you can set the input type to number if you want just numbers, which would be just an integer, either positive or negative. Um, and then if you wanted to change it where you can use floats, you can change this to number decimal. Um, so that's how that works. So pretty easy layout to follow. And I'll include this uh, the source in, um, uh, in the description below. So we need to have uh, three, the three edit text, three integers that we're going to be using, and then you know call the button to actually do all the work. So we're just going to inflate the view. This is your standard um, fragment view inflator. This one, we're just uh, initializing, initializing the variables. And now we have to set an on-click listener for the button. So in that, we need to convert the input that we get from the edit, edit text into a string. So that's what we do here. We get the three edit text items and put them into a string. And then uh, you can either do this. This actually will never throw this error because of the way that I've I've edited the uh, XML. But if you don't want to edit the XML, you can just put this in there, and you can throw. Uh, uh, if it throws an exception and instead of crashing, you can put this toast in there. Uh, but it shouldn't do that. You can't put decimals in in this example. So when I click on it, if I try, you know, 1.4. It doesn't let me put the decimal. That's because I've selected to just a number, not a number decimal. But if you change it to number decimal, you want this in there uh, if you're going to be converting it to an integer. Otherwise, just convert it to a, a float. And uh, the way that this one works is I decided to use uh, shared preferences. Um, it's a pretty easy way to store uh, values, simple values like in integers, floats, strings, whatever you want. Uh, pretty easy to store them. 
So uh, we have to parse these uh, these strings. So uh, integer dot parse int, and then the string that we want to parse it, and then we store it into this va uh, value here, and then to put it into the shared preferences, we're going to give it the ta the first one the tag item one, and we're going to put in that integer there. Uh, then with all with uh, shared preferences, if it's not working for you, you probably forgot to forgot to commit it. And then uh, finally, once that's all done, we want to change the view to uh, the next fragment, which is the pie chart. Now the pie chart is very easy to implement as well. So we have our pie graph and each one of our slices. So we have slice one, slice two, and slice three. We also have to go with those our three integers, which I've renamed. I've named them exactly the same between the two fragments, but uh, they are actually not the same. Cross, crossing over, you have to actually reinitialize these variables. So we have these three variables here. Um, you inflate the view again, and then uh, we need to um, call those uh, shared preferences. So we're going to be uh, getting those ints. So we need to get the int. We're setting the default value to zero. So instead of crashing, it just puts a zero there should something not work. Um, so we have zero, 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 uh, and uh, so initialize the pie graph, initialize the pie sl each slice, um, set the color that you want the slice to show, and then uh, you need to set the value. So this is where it's hard coded in the example. They just put a number here, but we're sh I, in this example. I'm showing you how to take an input from the user and putting it into uh, into practice. So you do that for the three slices, then you have to add them. So you have the pie graph uh, and add slice and add each slice individually. Okay, and then that's how you get this result. So when we run it for the first time, oh, I have to close it again. Let's see. So when I run it, here we go. You get this. So let's say the red is going to be five, green will be three, and this one will be seven. No, cyan. So we have seven, five, and three. All right. Hope you like this tutorial. If you have any comments, please leave them down below.